offensively will open up this football game. Nice return of about 17 yards for James Monroe with decent field position to open up this football game. Yeah, they, cl they closed that gap pretty quickly, but he did make a, make a nice game before that, though. Yellow Jackets, Zach Davis, number nine, the quarterback. He is a senior. He's going to lead that offense for the Yellow Jackets. Yellow Jackets come out with a spread offense. Trips to the near side of the field. One low receiver to the far side. Zach, handoff, run on the outside. He's going to be pulled down with a loss of about three yards as the Yellow Jackets tried to hit the edge, Bob, and get outside. But that uh, linebacking crew of uh, Eastern View caught up with him and dropped him for a loss. Yeah, it's rare that uh, you, uh, you get one of those linebackers come through the line like that quick, but he chased him all the way in the backfield and down him in the backfield. It's Yellow crazy. Jackets with a second and 13 yards to go. Movement by James Monroe. In a different formation, they had Zach Davis, Bob, number nine, up on the line of scrimmage as a tight end. And the Yellow Jackets out of sync on that uh, illegal procedure call. That's going to push them deeper into the hole with a second down. And we'll say about 18 yards to go for James Monroe. Just getting underway here at Culpepper, 11-15 to go in this opening quarter. No score. Yellow Jackets with the football. Four wideouts. Zach had a man cutting across the middle. That pass was, look, somebody got a hand on it, Bob, at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it, it, it started to flutter a little bit, so uh, um, I th think that's what it was. That falls incomplete, stopping the clock with 11.05 to go in this opening quarter. Glad to have you along tonight on Cox Channel 83, Verizon Channel 41. Of course, you can watch us on the World Wide Web, regionalwebtv.com. Zach rolling up with the football, plants and fires a pass over the head of the intended receiver. Incomplete, 10.59 to go. The Yellow Jack is three and out, and Eastern View will get their hands on the football. And with this punt exchange, Bob, they'll come out of this in real good field position. Yeah, they, uh, I'm. I'm guessing if we if it don't get it up good and high, and uh, uh, and the guy doesn't return it. <laughs> return man standing at the James Monroe 47 yard line. So, Yellow Jackets need good coverage on this punt here. Punter standing right around his own goal line. We need a good snap from the center. There's your snap. Punter taking his time gets off a decent punt. And the Yellow Jackets downfield on coverage. And it's going to be down at the James Monroe 49-yard line. Excellent field position for the Cyclones for their first offensive possession of this football game. Yeah, it would be real interesting to see uh, if Eastern View uh, comes out and uh, passing, running, or both. <laughs> <laughs> So for the first time this year, we are looking at this offensive explosion here by the Cyclones. They, too, run a spread offense, trips to the far side of the field. They mirror James Monroe offensively. Quarterback from the gun, handoff, exploding in that. the middle, cuts it back inside, <laughs> and not tackled until they picked up about 19 yards on that gallop. Off guard on the right side. Was that a hole or what? Yes, that, <laughs> wow. a gorge. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> so they moved the chain on the far side of the field. First and 10 yards to go for Easton View. And a quarterback fakes a handoff, keeps it. Off guard on the left side, picks up maybe three, four, five yards on that carry. Yeah, you, you got to count that as a plus. <laughs> So, Eastern View threatening early in this football game with 10, 19 to go in this first quarter. All the plays are coming in from the head coach of uh, Eastern View. A second down, and we'll say five yards to go. Quarterback from the gun. A handoff and a missed tackle and a nice run. First down, down inside the 15 to about the 12-yard line. 
A lot of speed back there, Bob. It, there really is. I tell you what, they, uh, no wonder that when they hit those holes, they're, they're in, into 10, 15 yards already. And some huge guys on that offensive line up front creating nice holes for these running backs to get through. So in the red zone, Easton View with a first and 10 yards to go at the James Monroe 12-yard line. Quarterback sends a receiver far to the right side of the field. Gets the snap, pitch, run around the right side, cuts it back inside. Runs over a JM player down inside the five to about the three yard line. Got an injured JM player going out. Seems like he's favoring his shoulder bar. Might have been knocked out of the joint. But he's going to the JM bench. It wasn't Aiden Ryan, was it? So here we go. First and goal for Easton View at the James Monroe three yard line. Two receivers split to the near side, quarterback handoff, and the Yellow Jackets coming up with a big defensive play there, denying Easton View from getting into the end zone. That's going to set up a second and goal from the two-yard line. Yeah, they're going to try that right tackle this time. You can almost be sure because that hole. Look at the decor on the near side. Three receivers to the near side of the field. And it's a handoff into the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern View. I think that's number four. Is that Trey Holmes with a two-yard touchdown run, putting the Cyclones on the board with 8.48 to go in this opening quarter. Well, the Yellow Jackets failed to move the ball on their initial position, uh, possession ball. Thus punting the ball to Eastern View, giving them excellent field position. Extra point attempt here by the Cyclones. He has just snapped the hold. The kick, it is up, and it is good. Time out on the field, 848 up here in Culpeper, Virginia. Our score is Eastern View, 7, James Monroe, nothing. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back to Culpeper, Virginia, home of the Eastern View Cyclones. They've uh, they lead in this football game by the score of seven to nothing. Cyclones set to kick off the Jays Monroe. There's your whistle from the official and the kick. It's a deep kick. Hits at the five. Picked up at the one five. Around the left side, reverses field, and oh. it's going to be pulled down. Lost about seven yards when he tried to reverse field ball. Not a good decision there. He who hesitates <laughs> is lost. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to think up a uh, new, uh, um, what do you call those? Uh, <laughs> uh, not, not slogans, but uh, <laughs> sayings, oh. but... Uh, Oh, we, we exhausted him, but uh, that's a new one. Okay. <laughs> he who hesitates is lost. Is lost. I like that. First and 10 for the Yellow Jackets deep in their own territory. Zach swing pass in the flat, gets a block on the outside, cuts it back inside. Host of uh, Cyclones in on the stop might have picked up a yard on that pass play. They're going to have to do something. Something of that sort, yeah. To kind of get these guys out in space where they can maneuver and uh, uh, try to pick up some yards. And the key to it, Bob, uh, Yellow Jackets underdog coming into this game tonight, but you've got to pick up some first downs, keep the ball away from uh, Eastern View, yeah. prevent them from scoring. Yellow Jackets on a run. 
And that's number seven on the card for the Yellow Jackets. Aiden Ryan, 6'1", 168, 10th grader on the carry. And picks up uh, three, four yards on that run, setting up a third down and about six yards to go. Yeah, uh, I, I think probably Coach Survey is saying, look, you guys are going to ground this out and yeah. uh, and earn your way. And, uh <laughs> and what's happening now, Bob, it's a game of field position. The Yellow Jackets, if they don't pick up this first down here, they'll be forced to punt the ball again deep in their own territory. Third and about four and Eastern View moving. They're pointing toward James Monroe, but it might be an encroachment call against uh, the defense, and it is. That's a break. That'll get them a first down. Or oh, close no, to it. Oh, uh, Going to be pretty close. So third and about a yard to go for the James Monroe Yellow Jackets. 7.15 to go in this opening quarter here in Culpeper, Virginia on a nice brisk night yeah. for football. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure the player players like it about this yes. temperature, but uh, with the breeze blowing in this way, it's <laughs> a, little <laughs> a little bit too on close the cold yet. side. Right. Third inches to go for James Monroe, and that's going to be the quarterback on the keeper. Zach going to pick up the first down. So as long as you have the football, they can't score unless you turn it over. Yeah, they, uh, and uh, I'm sure uh, Coach Survey is aware that these guys are as good as they say. And, yes. Uh, so, yes, keep that football possession. you got to remember, too, the Yellow Jackets in this West Coast offense uh, can throw the football, and they've got some pretty decent receivers. Zach Davis with a handoff, and he's hit in the backfield for a loss. Jawan Fontleroy on the carry. He, he didn't have a bad game la uh, last week. Scored he, a he, touchdown. Yeah, didn't he? He, he, yeah, scored a touchdown and uh, had several good runs. Five seven one fifty junior. We're talking about Fontleroy. Tonight is senior night up here at uh, Eastern View High School. What do we count? Uh, eighteen. Eighteen seniors, <laughs> and we certainly. No, we won't say. That. <laughs> I'll stay away from that. Zach's going to run the football. He's going to be hit and pushed back for a loss. He's not going to have a lot of time to sit no. back there. He's going to have to get rid of that football. You know, when you, as a quarterback, uh, uh, Mr. Blackburn, yes, sir. you know this. It's about progressions. You know, you look at one, two, three receivers. Mm -hmm. He's not going to have time to look at all of his receivers. Now, tonight, the one thing I have noticed, they, they get in the backfield yes. early and often. <laughs> Third and about 15 yards to go for James Monroe. Got trips to the near side of the field. That Fontenoy alongside the quarterback, Zach Davis. Zach gets the snap, looking to throw the football. He's got to get out of there. Ouch. He's going to be sacked right around his one-yard line. And disaster there for the Yellow Jackets. And once again... Punter will be standing in his end zone to punt this football. And Easton View, all of the game thus far has been played at James in the field. At least their total yardage will be uh, <laughs> a little less if they're starting uh, inside 50. But uh, come on, Tam, you can do this. Let's, let's get that ball Punter out. Punter gets the snap, gets off a nice punt taken at the jam 45 40 35 around the right side at the 20 and finally ridden out of bounds on the far side of the field thought i saw a flag come out yeah he had a bit of a wall up there and then something something strange happened yeah. i don't know you can't win many football games with the game being played at your end of the field no, it, it, that, they don't need to uh, handicap themselves that way. So the flag on the play is going to be a penalty against James Monroe on the return. Ouch, uh, sports. That's a horse collar tackle, the penalty. Boy, are they shooting themselves in the foot. 
ouch. tonight. Yeah. Did you say ouch? <laughs> yes. <I> just, <laughs> Boy, that gunshot hurt. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, man. Plus, it's cold. <laughs> I'm getting ready to put my coat on. But. First and goal for Eastern View at the James Monroe nine yard line. You got four wideouts, a run, and he was hit in the backfield, still on his feet. Did a little pirouette and stepped out of bounds. So, this guy's a pretty good looking runner, too, Bob. <laughs> yeah, you know, it. Anybody else would have been run down in the backfield. Yes. And, uh, not only did he uh, turn the corner, but found some running room. Noah Proctor, 6'2", 170 senior on the carry. So second and goal from the James Monroe four-yard line. Four wideouts for Eastern View. Man in motion to the far side, a low counter play. And that's number four on the carry. That's Trey Holmes. 5'7", 200-pound senior, and Holmes gets it down to about the one-yard line. Yeah, that, that wasn't a bad uh, play by the jacket defense there. They yeah. Came up pretty quick. So third down and goal for Easton View at the James Monroe two-yard line. This is just like a two-point conversion attempt here, Bob. <laughs> yeah. Four receivers, man in motion to the near side. He gets the call and steps into the end zone. Number two, Noah Proctor with a two-yard touchdown run with 3.27 to go in this opening quarter. If the Yellow Jackets can get decent field position in this football game, could mean uh, make a difference Bob yeah and uh, it, it's funny uh, they're, they're quick down the field and they're sure tacklers and, yes. um, so yeah but you're absolutely right they absolutely here's your extra point them. it's up and it is good time out on the field 3 27 to go in this first quarter from Culpeper Virginia it's Eastern View 14 James Monroe nothing we'll be back after this Welcome back to Culpeper, Virginia. 3.27 to go in this first quarter. 14-0 Eastern View. Cyclones kick it off to James Monroe. It's a booming kick taken at the 5. Bobbled, picked up 10, 15, 20, 25. And he gets nice spin move out to the 30-yard line. Real good 25-yard return yeah, by not James that Monroe. Bad. Not that bad. Yep. So the Yellow Jackets with pretty decent field position here. Not really in the hole, but uh, a lot better than what they've had thus far. First and 10 for the Yellow Jackets at their 30-yard line. Got a receiver split to the far side of the field. Three receivers to the near quarterback. It's a handoff run and a nice cut. Out across the 35 to the 36-yard line. That's number 21 on the carry, Jawan Fondleroy, 5'7", 150, junior. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that looked like one of the ones he had last week. Uh, yeah. He, he's pretty darn quick and pretty shifty. Got some good moves, Bob. Yeah, it does. Second and five facing the Yellow Jackets. And a swing pass in the flat. And minimal gain on that passing play. Might have picked up a yard. That's going to set up a third down and about four yards to go for James Monroe. Need a couple of first downs. They, they, they do indeed. They, they got one on that uh, second drive, but uh, 
Uh, then it fizzled pretty quick after that. Zach Davis, the quarterback, number 21, Jawan Fontleroy. Brandon Woolridge, the receiver. Turner White, the receiver, along with Aiden Ryan. And Mac Holland are the receivers. Third and four. Yellow Jackets on the ground and picking up the first down. Out across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. Nice hole. Yep. Number 57, Jonathan Washington, offensive tackle. He's a senior. Isaiah Johnson, guard, a senior. Number 77, Deion Carter, center. And number 50, David Brooks. And number 65, Andrew Williams are the players that make up that offense. And again, it's Eastern View jumping offside. So the Yellow Jackets will take it. Yeah, first and five. Not a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. So the Yellow Jackets getting five yards what, without even snapping the football. I'll take that all day long. Yeah, and not only that, uh, they're getting close to the 50-yard line. Yes. Come on, guys. <laughs> Three receivers to the near side from the gun. Swing pass in the flat. Number seven, that's Aiden Ryan. Ryan trying to get away. But you've got to credit the corners for Eastern View, Bob. Yeah. You know how we talk about so much how defenders will give receivers a cushion? Uh-huh. These defenders give no cushion to these receivers. I, I've never seen a team close so yeah. fast on the ball carrier. So here we go. Second, and about five yards to go for James Monroe. Four wideouts. Davis, Davis looking. You got to get rid of it. And he throws it over the head of the receiver out of bounds. And that was almost a late hit on the quarterback. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, that was number eight. That's Zach Hardy. Jack Hardy, the new quarterback in there for James Monroe. Ah, huh. okay. So, uh. It's a good thing it's you, Herman, because I, I said, oh, that's Davis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turner White going out for the Yellow Jackets. Big third down play here, third and five yards to go. You got four wideouts. Number five, Turner White just went out. Yellow Jackets fake and a handoff, and that's going to be Fauntleroy. He was bottled up right as he got the handoff. Loss of yards on that play. So the Yellow Jackets unable to pick up the first down and will be forced to punt the ball here on fourth down. I think this is the the farthest they've advanced it down the field, so we'll, we'll have to be happy with that. <laughs> yeah. They will not receive the football in JM territory on this punt exchange. Now, what they do with it is something, <laughs> right. something different. Punter standing back inside his 30 at about the 28-yard line. Need a good snap here, and he gets one. Takes his time, and it's going to be blocked. Oh, my goodness. Punt is blocked. Yellow Jack has got a fall on it. And my goodness. The punt was blocked. And Easton View coming up with a fumble recovery inside or uh, right at the five-yard line. Bob, I spoke too soon, didn't it? <laughs> We're talking about cliches here. Um, yeah. When it rains, it pours here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> here we go. Wow. So the block punt gives East of View to football at the James Monroe five-yard line with 15 seconds to go in this opening quarter. East of View already up by the score of 14 to nothing. Could tack on to that lead here. First and goal from the five-yard line by the Cyclones. Quarterback pass, and it's caught, and he's going to be pulled down after getting into the end zone. So a five-yard touchdown pass from the quarterback. Who was that? Tangler. And that was uh, Alex Spangler, Bob, with the five-yard touchdown reception. Okay. 5 9 one, six, and five, Junior. Extra point attempt here by Easton View to snap the hold. The kick is up. 
And it is perfect. Time out on the field with 7.7 7 seconds to go in this opening quarter. 21 for Eastern View. Yellow Jackets yet to score. Back here at Culpeper, Virginia, seven seconds remaining in this opening quarter. Yellow Jackets down 21 to nothing. Eastern View kicking off to James Monroe. There's your kick, end over end kick, taken at the 5, 10, 15, 20. Bouncing to the outside, he's pulled down short of the 30 yard line. Flag coming in. And usually when you see a flag like that, it's against the kickoff return team. Let's see if there's a holding against the Yellow Jackets. You got it, Armand. Oh, it's going to be against. Right. Uh -oh. So you had offsetting. Offsetting. So. Ball stays where it is, right? Should stay where it is. Are they going to. He made a mistake, Bob. It wasn't oh. against Eastern View. It was against uh, the Yellow Jackets. Okay. So he corrected himself, and the penalty is against James Monroe, pushing it back. And that's going to push him back to their 16-yard line, where it will be first and 10, one play left in this first quarter. A little over a second left. Yellow Jackets pitch sweep. Good pursuit. And a host of East and View tacklers in on a stop. No gain on that first down play. That's going to end the first quarter play here in Culpeper, Virginia, home of the front running East and View Cyclones. 21 to nothing, our score. We'll be back with the second quarter coming up after this. Welcome back to Culpeper, home of the Eastern View Cyclones. Bob, you got a deck of cards? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I have a coin in my pocket. <laughs> I was going to, yeah, we, we could just flip coins or something. <laughs> Second down and 11 yards to go. There's a pass. And a near catch intended for Aiden Ryan. Wow, that would have been a beauty if yeah. he grabbed that one. I like to see that type of play, though. Yeah. I think some of these receivers can beat some of these uh, secondary people for Eastern View. Got to have time to throw it, though. Yeah, let me. Uh, so is, is Hardy still in there or is Zach back? Let's see what. Well, it's third and 11 for James Monroe. Ball at their 15-yard line. Even though we've switched ends of field of the field, that's Zach back in there now. No, that's Hardy. Nice screen play and a nice run, and they've got the first down. My goodness, I tell you what. Uh, so, okay, screen passes might work. Yes. <laughs> okay. Particularly when your defensive front is overly aggressive, Bob. And I tell you one thing, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if they're overly aggressive, but they're so quick. You <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're there before you are. And if you want to set up screens, that's the play you want to run because, yeah, good one. you know, they want to get good at call. their quarterback. 
Good call. First and ten for James Monroe. First down at that 30-yard line. Just getting underway here in the second quarter. We had movement by James Monroe. Let's take ten steps forward and seven backwards. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, okay, we've got a first down now. We yeah. got <laughs> Let's settle down. We're looking for respectability here tonight. <laughs> 21 nothing. We can get a couple of touchdowns. Yeah. Come on, guys. Here we go. First and 15 yards to go. Quarterback looking. Throws a pass way too high. That's Jack Hardy, the quarterback. 6'3", 195. Great size, Bob. Yeah, I, I tell you what, the been fortunate these last few years of having tall quarterbacks. Yeah. So you got Zach at 6'5". And you got uh, Zach Jack. and Jack. <laughs> yeah, Zach and it's Jack. hard to see them back to back. <laughs> say it fast. Zach and Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a place yeah. you could get a Pepsi and some <laughs> something to eat. Hey, let's go down to Jack and Zach's. <laughs> <laughs> 11.08 to go. Major penalty against Eastern View. That certainly helps. Pushing the ball out to the James Monroe 43 yard line. First and 10 for the Yellow Jackets. You got two receivers split to the near and far side of the field. And that's Hardy with a little swing pass. Nice run, juke move. Pull out of bounds in front of the JM bench. It's kind of rude looking, wasn't it? Yeah, was, it was a little bit. But yeah. uh, you, know, you know what? Uh, if you get those quick openers like that, you, you defeat their speed. And, yes. Uh, so I'll, I'm glad to see them calling those. And they're moving the ball against this tough Eastern View defense. Second down and seven yards to go for James Monroe. Ball at the Yellow Jackets 47-yard line. Three receivers to the near side of the field. Jack Hardy, quarterback, and a handoff and a run. That front Leroy. Front of Roy tried to get out to the edge, but uh, some of that uh, east of view pursuit caught up with him. Minimal gain on that uh, second down running play. It's gonna, what is that? They're going to bring up a third and... Uh, About uh, seven. Yeah, okay, passing situation. And yeah. Third and seven to go for James Monroe. Ball at the Yellow Jackets 48-yard line. 10.05 and counting down here in this first half. Yellow Jackets trail 21 to nothing. Three receivers to the near side of the field. Swing pass, Aiden Ryan, the antenna receiver on the play. Could have been a fumble lateral, but uh, the officials say there was a forward pass. That falls incomplete, stopping the clock. 9.52 to go. Got a punt again. So the Yellow Jackets unable to move the football, yet to get into Eastern View's territory. Am I correct? You are correct. Uh, they got close. Yeah. <laughs> but That's like, uh, what, horseshoes? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Hang grenades uh, and slow dancing. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, here, here we go with the, para <laughs> the parables, the cliches. <laughs> here we go. Hey, we got it all up yeah, here. Right. Time out being called by James Monroe. Fourth down and about six yards to go. The Yellow Jackets taking a timeout, and we'll take a timeout, as, and we'll work on some of our cliches while we're <laughs> away. 21 to nothing. I'll score back after this. Welcome back to East of View High School. Yellow Jackets facing a fourth down, punting down here. Punter standing back inside his 35, gets a good snap. Got a new punter in there for James Moreau. Sky high punt 
takes a JM bounce down inside the 30 to about the 26 yard line. Uh, th th is this the wor uh, worst uh, field position that uh, Eastern View has gotten uh, at, a at all this? <laughs> Bobby, if you look at the, there's no 25 yard line. What? It jumps right from, you go 10, 15, yeah. 20, no 20, no 25, and it jumps to 30. Is Ran that, out of paint. And that's that's what happened. Yeah, my You got goodness. the same thing on the other end. Maybe that's uh, some kind of new style we don't know about. Uh, yeah, or it's or a trick. <laughs> They're trying to trick us. <laughs> <laughs> First and 10 for Eastern View, the quarterback looking to throw the football, left-hand quarterback. And it's mm. two defenders back there. That ball could have been and should have been caught by Eastern View. So the Yellow Jackets dodge a bullet there. And, you know, for a team that that uh, runs the type of offense, it's really late for us to see them throw the football because it is a passing offense. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, it, I mean, he has a good, strong arm. Even though he is, was, is he, he left-handed? Yeah. Okay. Second down and 10 yards to go for the Cyclones at their 21-yard line, and that's going to be a run up the middle close to the first down marker out across the 30-yard line to the 32, and that's close enough for measurement. No, they... Referees want to get out of here tonight. Yeah, they, so yeah just giving it to yeah, them. We don't want to take an official's time to stop this game for anything. <laughs> Let's give it to them. All right, there they go. <laughs> First and 10 for Eastern View at the 32-yard line. And for the first time tonight, Ooh. a loss of yards on a running play. Wow. Okay, Jam, that feels good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> Yellow Jackets getting into that Eastern View backfield. That's number 22 for the Yellow Jackets. Parker Hildebrand, 5'11", 193, senior in on the stop. Yellow Jackets third and 12. And the Yellow Jackets again jumping off sides. I keep saying this, Bob. It's about concentration. They make good plays. They come right behind in and make a bad play. And, and this has been their story, story. all season. Yeah, yeah it, it just in, inconsistency and yes. lack of concentration. So they hit the quarterback, hit somebody in the backfield for a loss, and they give it right back with a five-yard offsides penalty. Second, and we'll say eight yards to go for Eastern View at their own 34-yard line. 8.43 remaining in this first half. 21 to nothing, Eastern View. Quarterback, quick pass in the flat. Got blocked. Block is out in front. And a flag coming in. And he's tackled into right around midfield. So hold the phone. Let's see what this flag is all about. Did I see initial indication that it was a face mask? I, I know he got him uh, got him up high around the shoulder pads. I I don't know uh, he got the mask. holding call, Bob, against Eastern View. Wow. So they are not perfect. <laughs> they do make mistakes. And uh, we, we'll take all they want to give us. Yes. <laughs> So they're meeting with the JM captain out there. You got to take the penalty. So the pick flag up and mark off the yards against holding call of face mask. Holding call. So that's going to push him back to about the 32 yard line where it will be second down. Right back where we started, mm -hmm. Maxine Nightingale. <laughs> <laughs> Name of the hit. And oh, a run oh up the goodness. middle, running over players, got the first down out to about the 45-yard line. 
Wow, <laughs> there's still a yeah. jam tackler hanging in there. It's Matt Lowry on the carry for Eastern View. He's going to move to change. I'm sorry, Bob. I was just going to say, he's a great runner. Yep. Wow. High stepping in. First and 10 yards to go for Eastern View at their 47 yard line. Four wideouts, Yellow Jackets again, same player jumping off sides. I would tell that guy to come over and have a seat on the pine. <laughs> and there he goes as soon as you said that. <laughs> yeah, you got to pull him out. <laughs> so, okay. second consecutive offsides penalty against the jam player <laughs> who will <laughs> remain nameless. Okay. First and five yards to go for Eastern View. And here comes the run. Look at the blockers out in front as the running back picks his way through. That's Trey Holmes get on the carry. 5'7", 200 pounds. That's a nice stocky yeah, running yeah. back. Yeah, he is. 7.50 to go in this first half. 21 to nothing, Eastern View. It's been all Eastern View thus far. Probable passing down. Quarterback looking. Man is sitting down. <coughs> <coughs> Alex Spangler on a reception for Eastern View. He just went to an area and sat down. The ball was right on target. And they moved the chain again. Another first down. Hey, that, that, that's uh, th their quickness is uh, outrageous. Kind of like to play selection too, Bob. Don't yeah. seem to bite off too much more than they can chew. First and ten yards to go. Quarterback operating from the gun, looking downfield. Going to decide to run, and he. Tiptoes his way up the sideline, steps out of bounds, stopping the clock with 7.17 to go. Pickup of, we'll say, eight yards. Yeah, it, it looked like it might have been a busted play. <laughs> if there, yeah, it, it was, a Bob. Busted play, and then the quarterback rolls to the right, and he's a left-hander, so we were pretty sure he was going to run. Matt Lowry, the quarterback, six-footer, 185 pounds, left-hand thrower. He's looking. He's going to be pulled down hard. Nice defensive play. Number 55 for the young Isaiah Johnson. 6'3", 255. Senior. Nice tackle in the yes. backfield. Wow. So Johnson coming up with a nice defensive play on a quarterback. Loss of yards. Third and eight yards to go for Easton View. 6.48 to go. First half. Did I say <laughs> Eastern View was leading 21 to nothing? <laughs> well, we don't want really to have to mention that too often. I won't. <laughs> Third and eight yards to go. The quarterback again is going to run it. Uh, Got some daylight out that. in front. Oh, bounces man. to the outside. Streaks up the sideline. In. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Wow. That's going to be about a... 28-yard touchdown run by the quarterback, Matt Lowry. Lowry with the touchdown run. Lowry saw something over there, Bob. Because he looked like he was going to throw the football. Then he kind of <laughs> improvised and... Wow, he's got afterburners there. Yes. He turned them on. Extra point attempt here by the Cyclones. And we're getting stoppage of play there. Going to be against uh, Eastern View. So instead of a nine iron, he pulls out a seven iron. <laughs> See if he can chip this on the green. There's your snap, low snap, gets the kick up, and it is good. Time out on the field, 6.25 to go in this first half of football here at Culpeper, Virginia. 
It's Easton View, 28, James Monroe, nothing. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to Culpeper, Virginia. Domination by Easton View thus far in this first half of tonight's football game. Yellow Jackets have not threatened once in this first half. Yeah, let's have a run back here and uh, just, get, just get that goose off the board and <laughs> go from there. I certainly hope you're right, partner. Yeah, let's see. Easton View kicking off to James Monroe. Back deep for the Yellow Jackets, two return men. And that's going to be taken Ouch. and dropped, picked up. And Ow. yeah, did a lot of dancing and blew a shoe. <laughs> Man, they do converge on the ball. <laughs> they <laughs> would not want to be a receiver uh, or, <laughs> or a return man. So, zero yardage on a return by James Monroe. First and ten for the Yellow Jackets at their nine-yard line. Yellow Jackets coming into tonight's ball game, probably having not much of a chance to beat this team, but they've got to be able to move the ball a little bit, keep the ball away from Eastern View, and make this thing respectable. 28 to nothing out score, and the Yellow Jackets run it and get nothing. It's hard to say anything about anything about. I tell you, it, it's it's awfully frustrating. You, you know the offensive <laughs> linemen. You know they're thinking, I, I think I can move this guy, and nope, <laughs> <laughs> he's too quick. 5:52 to go in this. First half of play here at Culpeper, Virginia. Undefeated Cyclones tonight. Yellow Jackets struggling against a pretty good football team. Yellow Jackets with a run. Nice cut back to the inside. Falls out across the 15 to about the 16-yard line. Was Didn't that? get much on that, but maybe <laughs> the longest run from the line of scrimmage <laughs> tonight. Oh, me. Was that fun, Leroy? Somebody. Okay. 25 on the carry. Deontay Curry on the carry. First time we've called his name tonight. Yeah, I uh, don't think he played much in the last game, and uh, tonight looks like uh, he's going to get another chance. Third down and three yards to go for the Yellow Jackets. The quarterback gets the snap. Looking. It's going to be a holding call against the Yellow Jackets and number eight quarterback Jack Hardy. Scampering out of bounds. Holding call against the Yellow Jackets. When it rains, can <laughs> you say it? <laughs> I'm afraid to say it. It was written on the uh, on a on a Morton Salt thing. Wasn't it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> when it and I so happen to have a Morton Salt thing right here in front of me. <laughs> you know that's bad for your heart. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's bad when you carry your own salt shake around with you. <laughs> <laughs> Holding against the Yellow Jackets and a penalty going to push the Yellow Jackets back to about the six-yard line. Well, it will be third down and about 13 yards to go. Don't want to do anything crazy here and have... Uh, Eastern View pick it off and return it for pick six. Quarterback looking to throw the football and yeah, he's hit. The ball safety. comes out. Oh. Scramble for the football. Touchdown Touchdown. Eastern View. Yep, you were absolutely prophetic on that. <laughs> yep. Now flag coming out. Quarterback was looking. He was hit in the end zone. 
That ball came out, Bob. They need to look and see if his arm was coming forward. And if so, it should be an incomplete pass and not a fumble. But they've already ruled that they're discussing something out there. So the referee is talking with some of the other officials. What's the ruling here? Unsportsmanlike conduct call. Did he point at Eastern View on that? Yeah. Okay. So they'll, they'll, uh, that'll be assessed on the kickoff or the extra point? Let's see. I don't. I haven't seen them award them the touchdown yet, have you? Um, looking at the scoreboard. No, you're right. Unsportsmanlike against Eastern View. So the touchdown is not on the board. Did they f recover the football right around the two-yard line? No. Nope. It's a touchdown, so the point should go on the board. Eh? Set for the extra point here. Wow, don't get that one. There's your snap, high snap. The kicker gets it up, and it is good. We'll have to discuss that when we come back. Sequence of events there with... Uh, yeah, they put the seven points on the board, Bob, so it's 35 to nothing. 442 to go in this first half. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to Culpeper, Virginia. Eastern View High School out in front 35 to nothing against your James Monroe Yellow Jackets. One thing, Bob, I can say when we got here, great athletic director. Yeah. Welcome us extremely well. Got up here to the press box. They did the same thing. There's a squib kick uh, picked up by the Yellow Jackets on a return out to midfield flag coming in again but the reception has been absolutely wonderful here it, it really was I mean, uh, you know it's kind of like uh, old friends you know yes and we haven't been here since uh, 11, 11 years ago wow. but uh, some of the nicest people here in the press box and they're going to wave the flag off first and ten for the yellow jackets but not only did they uh, our greeters warmly, but uh, provided us with some food and drink if we wanted it. And uh, we told them we didn't want that because uh, Dr. Blackburn does that for us every game. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling to his right, Hardy. Rifles are passing. It was nearly picked off. When Jack Hardy settles down, Bob, 6'3", 195, yeah. junior. This kid can be the real deal. Yeah. That, he, he, He's got he, a strong arm. He does, and uh, and I've seen him run the ball very well. Much yes. Also. So. so, Hardy is being baptized tonight. Second down and 10 yards to go for the Yellow Jackets at midfield. And that's a running play, and I would take that page out of my playbook. <laughs> And start doing some screens and dump passes and stuff because you're not going to run the ball against this defense. Oh, no, they they they're just quick, and if you can, a, a ball can travel faster than they can. Yes, but, but that's about it. <laughs> Third down and ten yards to go for James Monroe. Ball resting right at the 50-yard line. 
Four minutes remaining in this first half. That's Hardy with the pump. And it's going to be a flag thrown, probable holding call against the Yellow Jackets. Wow, he was uh, he was inundated yeah. with black jerseys or whatever <laughs> color these was. jerseys <laughs> are. Penalty against the Yellow Jackets, and I would think Eastern View will decline it and force them to punt football. Yep. You know when they spotted the spotted the ball after the kickoff, that was the furthest penetration. <laughs> Just the nose of the ball was over the yeah. fifty. <laughs> So that's the closest they have been to being in Eastern View's territory in the first half. Now, what I have heard, Bob, and we were talking about it coming up here in the car, is that everybody involved with this football team this year say they are the greatest group of young people. And that kick takes a lateral bounce and it's going to be Eastern View's football at their what 42 yard line yeah uh, but they it, get it, rave reviews for being great kids yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah everybody loves to have them in class and uh, <laughs> that's right that, that's Make, step one <laughs> that's right they have no SOL problems they're, uh, they're real good okay <laughs> 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 so that's the ki type of kids you want. But they've struggled just a little bit this year. We're, we're so spoiled. Yeah, I, I know. I, uh, I I was thinking about that earlier. You know, yep. you talk about going to the playoffs. How many years in a row? Oh, it's been a long <laughs> yeah, streak. <laughs> yeah, and, and, so and the here. Yellow Jackets still have a chance of making the playoffs. Yeah, so... Uh, We'll, we'll we'll see who they open up with uh, yep. in, the, in the playoffs. It's got to be somebody that's pretty high ranked, I, I would imagine. Second down and 10 yards to go after that penalty against Eastern View. Ball back at their 31-yard line. Quarterback, that's Matt Lowry. Lowry gets the snap, looking, steps up, going to run it, throws a pass. Man sitting and wide open, uh -huh. and he drops the pass. Too, too wide open. Yeah. <laughs> Noah Proctor, the antenna receiver on that play. Noah said, I'm going to run with this thing yeah, right. whether I catch it or not. Right. And he'll go back to the huddle and square that ball was thrown <laughs> way <laughs> short. <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quarterback. Hit yeah. me in the hands with it. Right. Incomplete pass, stopping the clock, 3.15 to go in this half. Second, 10 yards to go. Lowry, the quarterback, gets the handoff. And a nice oh, tackle. Good. Hit him right in the hole. Number 55 for the Yellow Jackets, Isaiah Johnson. He's made a couple of great hits tonight. Yeah. Nice size, too. 6'3", 255. So a loss of three yards on that Johnson hit. Sent like a third and about 13 yards to go. It's situations like this, Bob, that you want to keep uh, them in. Uh-huh. And now we're getting a timeout by Eastern View. And we'll keep it right here because we can, you know, we were talking about the Yellow Jackets' chances of uh, getting in a playoff. You know, the current Virginia High School League Power Ratings, Region 3B, it's Culpepper at number one with a 5-3 record with 22.8 points. Number two is Spotsylvania at 5-3. and three. Number three, Thomas Jefferson of Richmond, 4-4. Four, four. Number four, Brentsville at 4-4. Four and 4-5, four. Four and five, I'm sorry. Number five, John Marshall at 2-6. And at number six, it's James Monroe at two and six. And uh, you can see the power points there, Bob. James Monroe with 17. So uh, with a win next week over Caroline, and what do you take, six teams? Uh, uh, well, I, I, I thought. Uh, 
all eight? I, I thought so. Yeah. Or, or let me see. No, that's right. Can't can't be six though, could it? I mean, let's see. It could be because you'd have three. Could be. Okay. I think. Yeah. So let's see. Eastern View with the football and a run and a flag coming out. Probable holding call against Eastern View. Yes. So I'd take the penalty, push him back. No, take the play and it would force that. You don't know whether they would punt or not, though. <laughs> yeah. If if they were they didn't, I'd uh, I'd complain to the Virginia High School League or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They decline, oh. so the Yellow Jackets will force them to punt here on fourth down. So for the first time tonight, the Yellow Jackets have stopped Eastern View. Yeah, now let's go in there and block that punt Yeah, <laughs> while we're at it. Come on, let's get six points before two minutes run off the clock. Mm -hmm. So for the first time tonight, Eastern View set to punt. It's a low oh, snap okay, quarterback. Okay. That'll help. And Ooh. he's going to be pulled down inside the 10. Bob, you called that. So the <laughs> Yellow Jackets come up with a big break there. And I see no flags on the play. Okay, you can tell a long snapper that hadn't had much experience. You know what, Bob? <laughs> In the pregame, I was watching the center snap the ball back to uh -huh. the punter. Uh -huh. And he had a bunch of horrible snaps. And I saw that and didn't mention it because we're talking about an eight and zero team. They don't yeah. do stuff like that. Yeah, you you think uh, that that would be the, the if you're perfect, you have that you know taken care of. In fact, there was a article in the paper today about uh, how uh, Colonial Ford has such a good long snapper. Yeah, here we go. First and goal for the Yellow Jackets at the Eastern View nine yard line. That's going to be Aiden Ryan on the run, puts his head down, down near the five yard line. Got some scores going to pass along at halftime, Bob. North Stafford lead, leading uh, Riverbend 42 to nothing. Mm -hmm. Spotsylvania 22, Chancellor 13, halftime. Cortland 21, Caroline nothing after one quarter play. And it's Louisa beating Charlottesville at the half by the score of 48 to nothing. Here we go, second to goal for the Yellow Jackets at the five-yard line. And quarterback looking man wide open with the catch and the touchdown. Nice job, guys. Just what the doctor ordered. Yes, sir. Yellow Jack is getting on the board. That's number 12 for James Monroe. Mac Holland, Bob, getting the five-yard touchdown pass from number eight, Zach Jack Hardy. Okay, on the board, guys. And let's see some other scores. Monticello, seven, orange, nothing at the half. Extra point attempt here by the Yellow Jackets. It's up, and it is good. What a moral victory here by James Monroe. Time out on the field, a minute 45 to go. It's Eastern View, 35, James Monroe, seven. Some other scores. Uh, Eastern View, of course, leading uh, James Monroe, 35 to nothing. And it's Culpepper beating Riverside 14 to 10, halftime score. So the scores are coming in, and the Yellow Jackets on the board, and they avoid the shutout. Yes, uh, and I uh, hope they're inspired. And uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So is that big muff punt by the punter? That allowed the Yellow Jackets to get the field position and to eventually get into the end zone for the touchdown. And the coverage in the secondary in that end zone was horrible by Eastern View. And the Yellow Jackets, Hardy took advantage with a wide open receiver for the touchdown. Yeah, they, they're doing things that uh, <laughs> that eight no teams don't do. Right. Now. So, uh, so we we kind of wonder how far they will go in the playoffs, but uh, we've seen some mistakes by this 8-0 uh, team tonight, even though they're 
They are manhandling the Yellow Jackets 35 to 7. So we're not in any way saying they're weak. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they lose their concentration when they get up by 35. Yeah. Here's your kick. Short end over end kick. Hits the ground. Picked up on the bounce. Right up the middle into the secondary. And a missed Good tackle. Time. He might go. Good 20. Time. 10, 5 into the end zone, touchdown. That's going to be at least uh, 60, 75 yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Who was that? Ke Keyshawn Mi Miller? Did I hear him say? That was uh, Keyshawn Butler. Okay. That number did. 11. We'll say, what, 75 yards? Yeah. Uh, th th that's what I'm That's what I'm going to put on the official book. Okay. <laughs> Extra point attempt here. The kick, it is up. And it is good. And we'll keep it right here, Bob. Okay. And just like that, the Yellow Jackets score. And East of View come back and they punish them for scoring. <laughs> I was going to use the word punishment, and I'm glad you did. <laughs> wow. So 42 to 7 at the half. And another touchdown will get a running clock, right? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I, but they, they would they do that in the first half also? I think it's just second half. Okay, right? second half. Yeah. So a minute 34 to go in this football first half. I'm getting ready to wrap it up. <laughs> 42 to 7 out score. And so we were talking about some of the games being played next week. It's uh, North Stafford hosting Colonial Forge. Riverbend at Brookport. Massaponics at Mountain View. Orange at Powhatan. Portland at Spotsylvania. King George hosting Eastern View. So the Cyclones making their way down to King George. Take on the Foxes next week. Fluvanna at Louisa. Charlottesville at Monticello. And Matoka at uh, Petersburg. Here's your kick. Yellow Jackets at the 10, 15, 20. And tripped up out across the 20 to about the 23 yard line. So the Yellow Jackets could be putting together something here, Bob. Yeah, may maybe they've got a little confidence out of that. Yeah. And um, being as we're on that topic, uh, Hardy threw that touchdown pass to what receiver for Jam? Oh, did that? the touchdown for Jam. We'll figure it out, Bob. Yeah. That, Sorry, I, I, I was. Uh, <laughs> had what you call one of those blank minds going here. Okay. Is that a penalty against the Yellow Jackets? Look, looks like they're. So. Yeah. Penalty against the Yellow Jackets, first and 15 yards to go. Minute 29 to go in this first half. Quarterback looking to throw the football. Now he's going to run. I mean, when you lock on to a receiver, you better get rid of that football because you do not have time back there to sit around. That's absolutely true. And look at receivers. You get one, you better lock into him and throw it because that rush is there. Sacked on the play, third down, and second down, I'm sorry, and about uh, 15 yards to go. Under a minute remaining in this first half, 42 to 7 our score. And the Yellow Jackets, nice run. And is that Hardy? Number and two. that's Brandon Warridge with the run. Did he, did he pitch that ball to Brandon? That, that, that I was don't a know if he took play. the hand off or what. Yeah, it was strange. Yeah, he ended up with the football. 
Third and 11, facing James Monroe, 24 seconds to go. Three receivers, and it's going to be a fly pattern up the sideline and an attempt to come down with a great catch. Going to be batted out of bounds incomplete. Stopping the clock with 15.6 seconds to go. In a situation like that, Bob, you know, I would have run the football and run time off the clock. <laughs> yeah, that's you got 15 it. seconds. You stop the clock with that pass throw incomplete. And this way would be no time on the clock and no chance of return here by Eastern View. Yeah, even if you have to run like a puppy in the backfield, <laughs> you're right. It <laughs> takes the time down. <laughs> Fourth down and 11 yards to go. Punter standing back at about his 10-yard line. Get it away. And gets off a short punt. wonder what happened to the other punter. He's not in there. Did he get injured? Well, remember he got a slow uh, slow punt there, and I think maybe the, uh, the coach might have replaced him for that. Yep. So... Eastern View with the football with 5.6 seconds to go in this first half. Let's see what they're made of, Bob. Will yeah. they take a knee? I bet they throw down the field. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice. I know it isn't, but uh, a team that's put 77 points on the board uh, as recently as what the last time they played. Uh, yeah, that was against, uh, who was that against? Ca Caroline. Caroline, I think, yeah. So, let's see if they sit on it here and take a knee. And they fumbled the football. <laughs> it's kicked around and picked up. And a host of GM tacklers in on the play. That's going to end the first half of play here at uh, Eastern View High School Cyclones. Leading the Yellow Jackets big 42 to 7. We'll be back to talk about a lot of things, including the score after this time out. Welcome back to Eastern View High School. It's been, there's a joke there somewhere. Yellow <laughs> Jackets have been hit by a cyclone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at least it's not a cliche. <laughs> That's right. right. 42 to 7, our halftime score. And Bob, it's uh, pretty much the way we thought it was going to go. And uh, I don't think uh, too many folks expected the Yellow Jackets to come in here and beat this uh this Eastern View team, but uh, uh, you can see why they're 8 and 0. Probably, other than uh, I think they're pretty close to one of the best teams we've seen this year. Yeah, I, I know they're the quick uh, for for good sized kids. They're, they're very quick. Yeah, uh, and I think uh, they they can't be blamed a little bit for. <laughs> 
<laughs> being ahead and not concentrating. They have made some mistakes yes. uh, uh, tonight. And so uh, glad to see the Jackets at least took advantage of uh, uh, one, one big mistake that they made. Yeah. And it's hard to uh, – the Yellow Jackets kind of dug a hole early in this football game. Uh, poor field position started off, uh, took them a long time to – advanced the ball across midfield so field position was the name of the game if you wanted to really put a finger on something that uh, allowed uh, 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 Eastern View to be dominant in the first half and I'd have to say field position Bob because the Yellow Jackets failed to pick up first downs they had a punt deep in their own territory thus giving Eastern View great field position and they took advantage and put points on the board and a big break by the Yellow Jackets getting that seven points and to uh, to erase that goose egg off the board to uh, end the first half of play. So you've got scoring there, Bob. you got a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to give it to you, play a little music for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, first quarter belonged to uh, Eastern View. They scored at 848 on a three-yard touchdown run by Holmes. And the point after was good, 7 to nothing. Eastern View. Eastern View came back at 327 on a two-yard run by Proctor. Point after was good, 14 to nothing. Eastern View. And then with 7.7 .7 seconds left in the first quarter, they scored again on a five-yard TD pass uh, from, uh, to Spangler. Point after was good, and it was 21 to nothing at, at the end of the first quarter. Eastern View got back on the board in the second quarter, 625 on a 28-yard TD run by Lowry. Uh, point after was good. It was 28 to nothing. Uh, Eastern View scored again uh, right soon after that, 442, uh, when they got a fumble in the end zone by JM. And uh, uh, point after was good, and that was a uh, 35 to nothing lead. And then JM finally got on the board at 145 on a five-yard TD pass. And uh, I'm going to say from Hardy to Turner, Turner White. And if I find out it was a different receiver later, I'll I'll correct that. I know that's important. Uh, Eastern View scored one final sc uh, time in the uh, first half at 134 on a 75-yard wow kickoff return by Keyshawn Butler. Uh, point after was good. Eastern View 42 and James Monroe seven here at halftime. Well, it's been a tough first half for James Monroe tonight, uh, falling behind early and often. Early and often, yeah. And they <laughs> trail 42 to 7, but uh, it's been that type of season for the Yellow Jackets. And, uh, you know, they've made some mistakes. Their young team uh, can't seem to really put a lot of things together, but it's always entertaining for us to cover James Monroe high school football and uh, we're just spoiled. Yeah, yeah, we mentioned that earlier. That yes. But the playoffs so often. And, uh, and having winning teams every yeah. year. Yeah. I mean, if if should <laughs> Eastern View uh, beat us tonight, it'll be the first time ever that they beat us. Yeah, and that's the thing that's hard to imagine. But, yes. uh, yeah, they, uh, they, uh, the last time we were here, uh, they were a little bit angry that we had come in and beaten a very good Eastern yes. View team. They had a good team. That was 11 years ago, the same year that they first opened the high school here. Of course, uh, they split the student population up between Culpeper High School and uh, uh, Eastern View. And it seems like Eastern View got the better deal because they have been uh, perennial champions in football ever since that uh, separation. But uh, uh, they've got a pretty good football team. And we can say that because we know what good football teams we, look we, like. We, we've seen a few. What is that? <laughs> uh, right. We've we've seen a few of those. Yes, like the commercial says on Farmers Insurance. Right. <laughs> seen a few things. So we've got uh, some more stuff to talk about. Uh, the Yellow Jackets on the road next Friday night as they make the trip down to Carolina to take on the Cavaliers. And if the Yellow Jackets can win that football game. My understanding, uh, my colleague here, Bob, is that that will catapult them into the playoffs. Am I correct? I I I think that's a very good chance because uh, you know we're we're looking at the powerpoints or whatever, and uh, yeah, Jam could not only make it but make it decent. 
uh, yes. you know, I don't think the top four, but uh, they could make it. And plus, we always talk about the second season. Yeah. You know, the regular season is one thing. And we've got some good ball players on this James Moreau football team. Uh, and it's been a growing uh, thing for them this year. Some of these kids are really uh, young and a lot of underclassmen on this year's team. And uh, hopefully they have grown from August to where we are now. And with the second season kicking in, if they make the playoff, they could give it a little run. Yeah, it, it, w wouldn't that be something? Yeah, to go to go in with uh, only three three victories and then uh, run off the string <laughs> of victories in the playoffs. Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> but we've seen better things from the Yellow Jackets in the past, and uh, it's a continuation of a winning program at James Monroe High School. And Coach Survey has done brilliant things of winning four state championships and a number of battlefield district and regional titles. So uh, Coach Survey is not a stranger to winning and his players have had their chances of winning and we're just so glad that they took us on a ride with them through the years. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a great ride, it really yeah. has. <laughs> Halftime, 42 to seven Eastern View. We'll be back after this.
Welcome back to Culpeper, Virginia for the beginning of the second half of football here at Eastern View High School. Cyclones leading the Yellow Jackets by the score of 42 to 7 as we begin this second half of play. Yellow Jackets kicking off to Eastern View uh, to start this uh, second half. And we're going to look at some scores. And checking some scores, uh, Bob, from tonight's action. We'll get to that right after this kickoff. It's going to be a squib kick along the ground, picked up on return of about four yards. Good coverage by James Monroe, but Eastern View will have it first and ten at their 41-yard line. That Thursday night games. I'm sorry, Bob. No, yeah, go right ahead. I was just going to comment on that, but uh, let's get those you scores. You go right ahead. We got, we got, you got scores? Let's, get, let, let's go with that because okay. I'm still frozen. <laughs> so, Colonia Forge uh, leading Mountain View 31 to nothing in the third quarter. North Stafford 42, Riverbend nothing, third quarter score. And Spotsylvania on top of Chancellor in a shootout, 22 to 19, third quarter score. First and 10 for Eastern View, run around the right side. Nice little juke move, pick up of 13 yards up across midfield down into JM territory at the 47 yard line. So 42 to 7 and just getting on the way here. Penalty mark on the play. The officials sorting out things there, Bob. Let's see some other scores. Cortland shutting out uh, Caroline at the half. 42 to nothing. Louis 48, uh, Charlottesville 12. Monticello, 48, Orange, 7. East of View, 42, James Monroe, 7, halftime score. Culpepper leading uh, Riverside. Where's Riverside, Bob? That's a good question. I, I, I'm not so sure I've heard of that. School. No. Heard of River View. River Bend. River, River Bend. Okay. That's right. Well, that's, that's the one I've heard. Okay. All right. <laughs> Where's River View? That's a good one on. <laughs> I don't know, but we can uh, we can make a new school. Yeah. So here comes the run by Eastern View, lunging ahead out across midfield to the James Monroe 48-yard line. That's going to set up a second down and about seven yards to go. And uh, we're in a show you how crazy we are. We're in a press box that. As glass windows enclosed, right. they have a heater, right. and we're sitting <laughs> in a little small room here. This guy refuses to go down. What a hard run down inside the 35 to the 31-yard line. We're sitting in a room here with the windows up, <laughs> <laughs> and we're freezing. Right. <laughs> We, uh, we we refuse not to have uh, uh, fresh air. <laughs> That's right. It is cold, isn't it, Bob? Yeah, it, it's almost like uh, the, yeah. an air conditioner blowing right on you. <laughs> so, another run here by Eastern View, number 44, Jared Kennard, in on stop for James Monroe. This game being played tonight because the impending forecast for tomorrow night. Heavy rain. Have nor'easter tomorrow night. Yeah, nor'easter. you got to be kidding me. Uh, I mean, have we ever played a game ahead of a storm before? I don't think. Maybe. No, I can't. I can't recall. Huh. Run by Eastern View, streaking around the left side and knocked out of bounds on the far side of the field. So Eastern View putting together a drive here advancing the football. Down inside to James Monroe's. Going to spot it at the 15-yard line. 8.40 remaining in this third quarter. 42-7 to seven Eastern View. You know what, Bob? They're not taking foot off the pedal either. No, indeed. They want more. Four wideouts. 
Man in motion to the far side. Fakes quarterback with the ball. Cuts it inside, picking his way down inside the five to about the four-yard line. They That's know how to put some positive um, positive yards on the board yeah. there. They don't make mistakes. <laughs> Matt Lowry on the carry. Going to be first and goal for Easton View at James Monroe's five-yard line. 7.53 to go in this third quarter. And a fake and a run. And he fumbles the football and the Yellow Jackets might have it. No indication. Yes. There you go. They got Somebody it. hit the ball carry and the ball popped straight up in the air. And a Yellow Jackets fall on it and get the football right around their own goal line. Did it go into the end zone? I, th I, thought, I thought so. So um, now uh, they look like they're going to take over in uh, – at the it, one. Yeah, though. yeah, so. So the Yellow Jackets at the one yard line. Wow. If they knew one more yard, then they would have brought it out, what, to the 20. Yeah, that's right. But they're just so happy to get the football. Yeah, and <laughs> actually to, to stop the Cyclone from coming in again. Why did you move the ball to the near hash mark? Now they. Moving it back. That's strange. <laughs> so the Yellow Jackets have it. First and 10 yards to go at their one yard line. Don't want any mistakes down here. No. Yellow Jackets get it out of the end zone. Might have picked up a yard or two. Not much. Now rugby scrum. Yes. <laughs> Minimal gain there by the Yellow Jackets. Want to keep it away from that end zone. 7-14 and counting down here in the third quarter. I don't know. If you're down by uh, 35, can you just drop back in the end zone and throw take it up the field? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said take a safety. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. uh, it's not that bad. <laughs> Three wideouts to the far side of the field. And I think that's uh, Eastern View again with an encroachment. Is that against the Yellow Jackets, half the distance to the goal? I think I saw him point uh, in the wrong direction. <laughs> so it's second down. Yellow Jackets late getting a player in there. Now they're going to huddle up. <coughs> So you've got three receivers to the near side of the field, one to the far. Quarterback's going to throw a fly pattern, and it's going to be a catch. Yes. <laughs> he took that thing away from yeah, the defender. Yeah, he, he, he did. It was, yeah. up for, it was up for grabs, so he uh, good jump ball, jump ball, get it. <laughs> and that was uh, Brandon Warridge on a reception for it. The yellow jack. Brandon has great size, Bob. It's 6'4". Yeah, he does, and uh, he can get up in the air, yeah. too, if he has to. Particularly when you have a guy that's covering you that's about 5'7". <laughs> that's certainly a mismatch. First and 10 for the yellow jackets getting away from the shadows of their own goalposts. And that's going to be a run and nothing there. Number eight, the quarterback, Jack Hardy, 6'3", 195, junior. He's also listed as a linebacker, too, Bob. And a dozen his brothers start as a uh, linebacker? Or not? Yep. Okay. That's the other Hardy boy, mm. Joe. Loss of about five yards on that play, setting up a f second, and we'll say 15 yards to go. Five, ten to go. Quarterback rolling, plants, fires a pass with the catch out across the 20, and it's forward progress. He was driven back, and they're going to spot the ball back where he was driven out of bounds. Huh. Then he ruled that he didn't get out of bounds, so the clock is running. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Go figure. 
So nice gain on that passing play, setting up a third and about 12 yards to go. 4.33 remaining in this third quarter. Wonder if it's a running clock here. Yeah, I, I was just thinking as you, you know, as you were saying that uh, if it was. So third and 12. And once again, what's the call? The referee, now they start the clock. Second time we've seen him do that tonight. And that's Hardy rolling to his right. And throws that out ball, but it's too far out. That was thrown right out of bounds on the far side. Yeah, the J JM receiver is looking at it like, just to, <laughs> you know, give, give me a chance. Yeah, here, give me a chance to make a catch here. Yeah. Clock is a running clock here. Four minutes remaining in this third quarter. Fourth down and 12 yards to go. Punting down here for James Monroe. Got to find out what happened to the regular punter. Nice snap. Gets off a sky high punt again, and it takes a JM bounce. It's going to be down at the James Monroe 44 yard line. This guy kicks it so high, it's hard yeah. to return it. Yeah, and. Uh, you know, there, there's chances with, with a with a high punt. There's always chances, and I think uh, Eastern View is kind of more inclined to back off of it and take yeah. it where it falls. You know, we're talking about how cold it is tonight. It was cold last yeah. night. This morning was a heavy frost. Oh, yeah, yeah. First and ten yards to go. Eastern View whistle. Cyclones taking a timeout. We'll keep it right here with 3.10 to go here in this uh, third quarter. 42 to 7 out score. And the Yellow Jackets, they have not allowed any points yet in this th second half. God bless them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Eastern View earlier were threatening down in the red zone and fumbled the ball at the James Monroe one yard line. So the Yellow Jackets recovered that fumble and darts the real bullet there by not allowing uh, East of View to score. Yeah, I, I, I haven't uh, been following closely with the Eastern View games prior to this, but uh, I wonder if they make this many mistakes. Uh, We've seen mistakes tonight yeah, by them, haven't we? we? Ha yeah, we have. And not, you know, we've seen well all teams before, and they seem to be a little bit more precise than the team. And there's another mistake in the backfield. A quarterback dropped the football. That's a new quarterback in there. Yeah, it is. That's Till Butler. Butler, that time, the replacement quarterback in there. 59205 junior till that's not the way he uh, wanted to start is it no <laughs> second and 16 yards to go ball back out into James Moreau 49 yard line man in motion and he fumbles the football again and falls on it back at their 42 yard line so the yellow jackets they like this guy <laughs> till Butler. Yeah, you know, his folks are over here going, please <laughs> put <laughs> Dill in. <laughs> Third and about 23 yards to go for Eastern View. Of course, they've got their reserves in that now. Mm -hmm. This thing is well in control by Eastern View. Till again fumbled the football, gets the pass off. And the Yellow Jackets come up big. The receiver on that play was Keyshawn Butler. That's Till's brother, I would guess. Okay. Yeah. So you got the Butler brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Till oh. and Keyshawn. <laughs> All we need is Rhett. <laughs> <laughs> and I really don't. <laughs> That's right. Give a dog on. Oh, okay. Speaking of quotes. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth down. And we'll say about 18 yards to go. 
And a punter is in, a low punt. Gets off a nice punt on a return for the Yellow Jackets. That's going to be number eight. And, he's, and a flag coming out. Was he tripped? You know, I, I was I was wondering if they, you know they grabbed a mask, but you, yeah. it, it, it looked like uh, somebody was down low and sort of flag coming out. See if that's going to be against the Yellow Jackets. Got a minute twelve to go. Going to wave the flag off. Okay. Why did you throw it then, Mr. Referee? Some sometimes they try to mark the ball and they reach for the penalty flag. They throw the wrong flag. Yeah, throw the wrong <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh man! Now I think that's exactly what happened on that play. <laughs> he said, "Oops." Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, that's your flag, dummy. Oops, upside your head, right? <laughs> right. Or <Oops. laughs> <laughs> well, you're bringing them back. <laughs> that's right. That was a nice run. Uh, maybe the longest run from the line of scrimmage tonight. An 11 yard pickup. That's number 25 on the carry. Deontay Curry, 5'8, 165, 10th grader. This guy's got two more years of high school football, though. Oh, my goodness. And how many teams have we seen that have uh, talented underclassmen? Yeah. And the JVs won last night, beating Eastern View by the baseball score of six to nothing. <laughs> and that's number 25 again on the carry. Deontay Curry on the carry. So the Yellow Jackets Eastern View with their reserves in there. Yellow Jackets seem to be a little bit evenly matched now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So second and seven yards to go. Three receivers to the near side of the field from the gun. That's Zach Pitch run around the left side. Cuts it inside, nearly popped through. And that's Curry again on the carry, and that's going to end quarter number three here in Culpeper, Virginia. Our score, Cyclones 42, Yellow Jackets 7. Bob and I will be back after this. Welcome back as we begin uh, the final stanza of tonight's game. Twelve more minutes of football. Third down and three yards to go for the Yellow Jackets. You got number two to the near side. That's Brandon Warriors, a good target. And the Yellow Jackets keep it on the ground. And what a textbook tackle by one of the Eastern View players. Yeah, surprise, surprise on that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, it looked like the jackets are start, starting to move, uh, but we uh, you know we got to look around, make sure there's no uh, jerseys that are soiled. <laughs> <laughs> so next Friday night we'll be on the road again. Down, get down to Bowling Green, Milford, right? Virginia. Milford, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's that's the suburbs of uh, Bowling the suburbs Green. Suburbs of Bowling Green. <laughs> right. Fourth down and two, punting down here for the Yellow Jackets. Punter standing at his 15, takes his time, gets off a decent punt. And again, it takes a jam bounce and will be downed at the 31, 32 yard line. So 11 minutes to go in this football game. And east of you, Bob, they Shifted into cruise control now. Yeah, no score in the third quarter. Yeah. That's what I call cruise control. Yes. <laughs> but it's dog, that doggone first half. Wasn't that something? <laughs> Three scores. And <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, 
three score and seven years ago. <laughs> 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 oh, man, you called to the Gettysburg Address on us, right? Uh, <laughs> you set me up like that, partner. <laughs> I did, but I think it's four score. <laughs> <laughs> it is four score. <laughs> okay. Uh, first and ten for Eastern View. Swing pass in the flat with the catch. And a collision right at the 35-yard line. Pickup of uh, about three, four yards. Remember the last time we were down at Caroline? We had no lights. You're right. Oh, my goodness. The lights went off. The electricity went off in a press box. You're at, and, oh, my and gosh. nobody oh my cared. <laughs> 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 so a run... Out near the first down marker, out to the 41-yard line. <laughs> Running clock here in the second. <laughs> here in the second half. You mean they had electricity? <laughs> <laughs> no, right, yeah. I got to stop that. They had a pipe in it from the city, <laughs> okay. Bowling Green. There we go. So, but I remember they lost the electricity in the press box, and we were broadcasting the game. And we went to the athletic director, and he said, well, ain't much I can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully they'll have that problem fixed by yeah. the time we get there next week. Fake and a run. And pushed out of bounds into jam territory. And with the spot, it's going to be a little bit shorter picking up the first down. 940, counting down. 42 to 7, Eastern View. So you say the score last week was uh, Eastern View beating. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Car uh, Caroline. They're, they're coming off a of bye week, I think. And then um, uh, last time they played, I think. Last night, yeah, because I'm looking at the score. I don't see a score here for Eastern View. So yeah, yeah so it was uh, two weeks ago, and they yeah. Thump. Caroline. Dumped them, yes. <laughs> so the clock continues to run here. They want the clock to run. But they are sitting on the clock. Now it's starting. First and ten for Eastern View. And that's a run. And no gain on that running play. Yeah, jacket defense. Well, if you look at the 18 seniors, Bob, on this year's team, and most of those guys are getting a rest and on the sideline right now, so this is probably what uh, Eastern View's team will look like next year. Right. And see if you... The Yellow Jackets seem to match up well. Quarterback, and he's going to be pulled down for another loss of a yard. Back to the 45-yard line, where it will be third down. And about 14 yards to go for Eastern View. Got to hand it to number 66. He uh, he hung on there, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> we got to recognize him. <laughs> and 66 is Kristen Young. 6'2", 210, freshman, boss. Okay. And movement. Let's see if it was uh, Eastern View who moved first. Yep. So. Cost them five. Yep. Yeah. So it, with the new quarterback in there, Till Butler, uh, Bob, he's a, a junior. Of course, the starting quarterback is a senior. So this is the replacement for uh, Matt Lowry, the starting quarterback. And this is what the team will look like next year. Third down. About 18 yards to go. Pass in the flat. Oh and he has the goodness. first down and more streaking up the sideline. Look line. at him. My goodness. Who is Into that? the end zone. That's going to be a 50-yard touchdown from the quarterback that I said will be the replacement. Mm -hmm. Till Butler. Touchdown. Who, who scored? So Keyshawn scored? Yeah. Okay. So that's brother to brother, I would okay. say. Okay. <laughs> Till Butler to Keyshawn Butler. 
And what did I say, Bob? Forty-five yards. Uh, I got I got fifty here. Fifty yards. You're okay. right. Extra point attempt here. Low snap. The kick is up, and it is good. Time out on the field. Seven twenty-seven remaining in this football game. Our score is Eastern View forty-nine, James Monroe seven. Back after this. We are back in Culpeper, Virginia, home of the Eastern View Cyclone football team. 7.27 to go, 49 to 7. We just don't want to see 50 on the scoreboard. No. <laughs> There's your kick, deep kick, taken at the 5, out across the 10, 15, and out to the 19-yard line. On a return for the Yellow Jackets, is that, is, no, who was that? Number six, Deshaun Smith on a return for James Monroe. So the Yellow Jackets have it with a first and 10 at that 19-yard line. 7.19 to go. I'd like to see a seven-minute drive here. Yeah. <laughs> And may, maybe they could put it together. I mean, uh, uh, they, they were they were making yardage earlier, and then yep. had some uh, some problems and uh, had to punt it. You got Zach Davis as the receiver too, Bob, and and that pass batted up in the air, and it falls incomplete. That thing could have been picked off. Jack Hardy, the quarterback. He's a junior, 6'3", 195. He, he, throw, he throws a pretty hard ball. And I saw Zach Davis as a receiver out here. Oh, my goodness. Zach said, uh, you know, you're taking me out, coach. I, yeah. I want to play. So, good. Good for him. Big target, Brandon Warridge, to the near side of the field. It's going to be a run. And number 17 on the carry, Terrence McKenzie. 5'4", 114, senior. Good to see him in there. Yeah. He's a senior. Have we seen him before? I can't remember. I think remember. maybe once or twice. Once or twice. He's had a couple of carries. But Coach Serbeg is using some of these players now and that have not had that much playing time. So third and nine. And that's going to be a man wide open, Woolridge. Did he make the catch? I think he did. Yes. Good Out job, across Brandon. the 45 to the 46. He had an adjusted body and turned around and still came up with the catch. <laughs> yeah, right. And that and defender was draped all over him. Yeah, and, uh, and Hardy threw a little bit of an incline there. Yeah. But, uh, or, uh, uh, Brandon a lot of, like, lot of air on it up. <laughs> yeah, I can feel the breeze up in here now. <laughs> First and 10 for the Yellow Jackets at their 46. Hardy again over the head of the intended receiver too high. And that was uh, Turner White on the receiving end over the intended receiving end of that pass. Five and a half minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Yellow Jackets want to get one more score here. Second and 10 at their 46 yard line from the gun. Hardy to Woolrich. And he comes up with the catch right in front of the Eastern View bench. He got a little bit excited. You could hear him cheering up here when Woolridge made that catch. <laughs> I don't think it was for Woolridge. Okay, it was for the guy that knocked it <laughs> That's down. That's right. Sorry. It's for the guy, the teammate that made the tackle. Third down and seven yards to go. Ball at the James Monroe 49-yard line. Hardy 
quarterback and a run. You can't run against this Eastern View team. Oh, wow. No gain on that uh, play, setting up a fourth down and about seven yards to go. Four and a half minutes remaining. That was, oh. that was Mr. Curry. He found out that uh, <laughs> Eastern View uh, is pretty quick, even <laughs> yeah. in the second string. <laughs> so fourth down here. Punter out there. Let's see. Is that Turner White, the punter? Can't see the number. Okay. So the Yellow Jackets set to punt here on fourth down. And he gets off a good punt, high punt. And on a return, and he's knocked out of bounds on the, boy, he was, he was really hit. <laughs> he knocked him under the bench. <laughs> knocked him under the bench. <laughs> yeah, you were, uh, you were uh, uh, asking uh, who the punter was. Yeah, it is, it is Turner White. Okay. So. so He's been able to get off some nice punts, nice high punts, which means coverage is generally good. Mm -hmm. Allows your teammates to get downfield. So first and ten for Eastern View at their 33-yard line. 3.49 to go. The clock won't start until now, until the snap of the football. From the gun, quarterback fakes a handoff. He's going to run it. Runs into a couple of JM players. As long as we keep it under 50, we're good to go. <laughs> yeah, it, it, 50 is a magic number. We're, we're <laughs> easily pleased. That's right. <laughs> okay. So second and seven yards to go. Three, 27 remaining in this football game. Pretty good Eastern View High School football team tonight. The Yellow Jack is up against. And a handoff and a run. And finally pulled down by number 72 for the Yellow Jackets. And that's Trevin Washington. So the Yellow Jackets third and three yards to go. Might get another shot at it, Bob, if they can hold you on fourth down. Yeah. Got four wideouts in the spread offense for Eastern View. Quarterback gets the snap, bobbles it. Now he's going to run it. He's going to be pulled down in his backfield. And almost a late hit. Could have been a targeting call there against the GM player, right. but the officials... Refused to throw the flag, and we certainly appreciate it. <laughs> so, fourth down in 11 with 2.14 to go. The Yellow Jackets will have one more chance to try to put some points on the board. Let's start it off with this punt return. Yeah, there we go. Okay, a high, high snap. snap. Yep. And booming punt. On a return, no return. <laughs> no return on that punt, uh, and the Yellow Jacket would have it first and 10 at their 36-yard line with a minute 51 remaining. Time for us to get out of Dodge. <laughs> I was just thinking, uh, now the schedule will repeat itself next year uh, according uh, to the teams that we play this year. Isn't it like a two-year contract? So I think so. Eastern View's coming tomorrow next year. That's so. right. Okay. Five, six, one, go, six, Blue, black. Five, six, one, go. So the Yellow Jackets taking a timeout. Same go. score as last week's score, Bob. That, oh, you're right. You're right. 49-7 against Cortland. Diff different feeling, though, huh? <laughs> Why can't this be Mega Millions? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> we come uh, up with the same numbers. Yeah. <laughs> and Powerball, seven. Did you know, somebody in South Carolina win it? Yeah, I won it all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's I won $4. Did? <laughs> Not this week. Last week. 
when I was in Petersburg. Did you really? <laughs> I had one number plus the Powell ball, which okay. was a seven. So I got my money back. And that's going to be Woolrich. Oh, did he and drop he it? dropped it, yes. He was open. Woolrich unable to come up with the reception. So that will set up a second down in 10 yards to go. Let's try it again. Yeah, I can't. I, I, uh, Wooldridge's hands must be getting cold because he's a sure hand to catch. Yes. A lot of games being played tonight. Going to be a rainy Friday night tomorrow night mm -hmm. as that nor'easter makes it up the East Coast on the run and yeah. has the first down. Runs in two. Uh, Eastern View player knocked out of bounds in front of his own bench. That will temporarily stop the clock until they reset the chains on the far side. 54 seconds to go. So the Yellow Jackets trying to put something on the board. One more time, guys. Yep. One more. You got four wideouts, three to the far side. Quarterback's going to run it, calls his number. That's number four. That's Joe Hardy. So they're switching up uh, all yeah. the quarterbacks. <laughs> so you got Zach, Jack, and Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Almost sounds like Pimp Boys. <laughs> <laughs> it does. So now we get a timeout. Yellow Jack is time, taking a timeout. 21 seconds to go. Who took that time out? <laughs> <laughs> Had to be JM, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you got we got players that haven't played in the spots they're playing in, they, they want to make sure <laughs> they right. don't, uh, don't mess it up too bad. What are the chances of you playing two games back-to-back -back resulting in the same score? Yeah. Uh, let's take bets right now. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the Yellow Jacket score on this play. Yeah, throw it down the field, boys. Throw it down the field. So you got 21 seconds remaining. It's second down and about eight yards to go. Ball at the 38-yard line. Quarterback looking. Throws a swing pass over the head of the antenna receiver. That pass intended for Elijah Avington. 5'11", 149, senior. So you get some of these players, Bob, that are seniors, getting them a chance to. So that's going to do it. That did it. Last play of the football game, an incomplete pass by the Yellow Jackets. And that will do it for tonight. 49 to 7, our final score. We'll be back, and Bob will wrap up all the scoring in tonight's football game right after this timeout. Welcome back to Culpepper. Uh, Eastern View, here's Bob Blackburn with tonight's scoring in this lopsided football game. Yeah, there was uh, a lot of scoring in the first half and not much in the second, so here we go. The board with a three-yard TD uh, run by Holmes. Point after was good, seven to nothing. Eastern View was back at 327 on a two-yard run by Proctor. Point after was good, 14 to nothing, and uh, with 7.7 .7 seconds left <laughs> in the uh, first quarter, they scored on a five-yard TD pass uh, to Spangler. Point after was good, 21 to nothing. Uh, Eastern